Right, so for combining these two, we what you do is you have to factorize this. This x x squared minus nine. Um, what is which rule is this for x squared minus nine? Yeah, the x plus nine x minus nine. So uh, we're gonna split this up into two. What it looks like is this x seven x over this guy here is x plus three times x minus three. Because this is the rule number three, okay? The three special algebraic formulas, right? Plus, okay, this is correct. Uh, says remove. Plus, uh, so here we have to, because, because this part is x minus three, x minus three, the one on the right side, we got to multiply with uh, x minus three. Four times of x minus three over x plus 3, x minus 3, okay? So this is just to create the common denominator, which happens to be x plus 3, x minus 3, right? Right hand side here, this equation, I mean this fraction, we multiply by x minus 3. Then after that, we combine them. Okay, once they have, they are, they are the same, uh, we take some x plus this thing. So 7x plus 4x minus 12. Okay, this after rainbow in 4x minus 12 over x plus 3, x minus 3, and hence 7 plus 4 becomes 11x to go 12. Over x plus 3, x to the way 3. Right, so this is, this is the equation, okay? Okay, any question? Is it okay? Okay. Uh, actually, is it okay? Actually? Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay next okay. one. Yeah, no, next. So all, all these must do, no? Because these are your life savers, no? From, from now onwards, right? I mean, you, you also know that uh, all these easy uh, algebra, these are considered easy algebra. This one, you know, yeah, your life savers now because these are just execution type of question. There's no story, there's no complicated words, right? For you to go and read or you know, all that stuff. This is just do, just do. So you must know how to do, and it's like a free marks, right? Consider them free marks. Next one. Uh, okay, see, stuff like that might be a bit tough, but this one looks easier. Uh, it is way easier, oh my god. It's like a primary school math question. <laughs> what? What are you going to answer already? What's the answer? 15. Um, yeah, it's 15. So, Nigel cuts the pi to two parts of the ratio. Okay, it's 15. The difference, right? 7 units, so we take 35 divided by 7 equals 5. Then the difference is 3, so 5 times 3. Okay, easy, easy stuff. I will just go through very quickly. Next. Okay, like this. Now, Nigel cuts a certain length of 5x from each of the two parts. The ratio of the remaining length is 6 is to 1. Calculate the value of x. Okay, so this is a bit tougher. Finish? You also done? I haven't done. I haven't done. Okay, please do. Please do. Just try and see. Okay, to find x, you need to come up with the with an equation. So they say that the ratio is 6 is 1. That means if I take the long one divided by the short one, this is a long divided by short. Wait, so, so what's the answer? Okay. <laughs> 7. Oh, I got 7. Oh, okay, but I say first. Uh, so yours no count. No. Hey. You must tell me first, all right? I also have seven. <laughs> okay, yeah, you must... I also got seven, yeah. You take the ratio, six divided by one. So if you take six over one, it's the same as 25 minus x over 10 minus x, okay? One more time, uh, you see the ratio? Long divided by short. Uh, over here, we took the long one minus x one. And then the short one minus x. You should get the same ratio. Then what do we do? We cross multiply. This times this, this times this. So 25 minus x equals to 60 minus 6x. Okay, cross multiply. And uh, rearrange. So 
negative six x bring here number go there uh, go up there no enough space so six x minus x equal to sixty minus twenty five so five x equals to thirty five x equals to seven Okay, so you can do it this way. This is the uh, uh, the comparison. So th this is what I mean, right? By you know algebraic questions, uh, usually with words and problems, sums like that, they are slightly harder than the execution stuff. Okay, so the execution type of question, the straightforward ones, we we have to get them right. Uh, those are <clears throat> those are easier to score. Okay, next next one. All right, this is a question. Joseph bought an oil painting five years later for a profit of 130%. What's the selling price? That is easy. So just take 1.2 times 950. Wait, for a profit. So this is the profit. Uh, this is the prop. The 120% is the profit. So if I take 1.2 times 950, I will get uh one one four zero but this is not the selling price you need to take this add to the original price so it's one one four zero plus nine five zero plus two so the selling price is two zero nine zero okay all right thanks moving on so far okay yeah, i'll go on very easy it's from Later we do the CHIJ, okay? We have time. Okay, next. The fastest we attain by a car, uh, power by power gas was three, six, four. Convert this into meter per second. Okay, conversion, please try. Right, so for conversion questions, what we do is we do separately. Like what I mentioned. Um, we are given 364.6 kilometer per hour, which is over here. It looks like this, 364.6 kilometer per uh, one hour, okay? This is what uh, is given to us. So we need to convert to meter per second. So what we do is we do the top and the bottom separately. So for example, 364.6, right? Km is convert to meter. Uh, we know that one Km, okay, one Km goes how many meter? Uh, 1,000, right? You know what? Huh? And hence here you got a times one thousand multiplied by one thousand. So convert kilometer to meter is three hundred sixty four thousand six hundred meter. This is a meter. Then after that one hour convert to second. So how how do I get three thousand six? So it's one hour. Huh? Times 60. 60 times 60. 60 minutes. One minute has 60 seconds. So it goes to 3600. Right? So once I have this, uh, just divide, press in, inside the computer, this one, divide this. Approximately 101 because they want three similar figures. That's it. Okay, moving on next. Star. This, 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 this is. Changing the subtract formula. Right? Given that y goes to x minus 2 over x, find x in terms of y. So we do rearrangement. Uh, I'll do this, right? It's pretty okay. Since y equals x minus 2 over x, I'll uh, try this thing up. And so negative two over y minus one. This is changing the subject of formula. 
just cross multiply. Okay, my trick is usually cross multiply. That is, I find like usually the easiest. Okay, next we look at 11a. So 11a is uh, the typical grouping, two by two. So 6a plus 3ay, we take out 3a from the first two, we'll get two plus y. Then uh, for the second one, we can take out negative 2b. So minus 2b, we'll also get two plus y. So, so for a, it is tough because of the, the minus sign. Okay, you see the minus sign can be a bit confusing here because when I take out negative 2b suddenly all of a sudden the minus becomes a plus inside this part okay so how do we check that this is correct you check by doing the reverse that means you multiply this in if you take negative 2b times inside you should get back this thing okay once we are done with factorizing the the, the pair you can take out uh, 2 plus y so we take out 2 plus y, we'll have 3a minus 2b. And this is the final answer. Okay? Uh, Dion, is okay? Is that okay? Next. Ashlyn, okay? Yeah, got it. Okay, next. So for the last question here, uh, you can extract 3 axes. So once you extract 3x, you will proceed to factorize the inside where we will get. I mean, you do this long factorization. And minus, oh. Right, so 2x, 5, 1, 4x. Rx minus 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 minus. Okay, so bracketed. Um, I mean, uh, after factorization, the bracketed part is this two. It's just two. Two x minus five. X minus two. An answer. Yeah, you, you need to put the tree x, you cannot remove tree x, it's part of the whole system of equation. So how I do this type of question is uh, I use the logic, logical method. So workers, 50 time, time in terms of hours, right, is 6. So 50 workers take 6 hours. So how many more? I say how many more if then you came out in four hours. So if 50 can do the job in six hours, uh how about two? Two hours. If I shorten the time to two, how many workers do I need? Three. Hmm? Three. Three? Hmm? Three. 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 What do you say? Time three, right? Yeah. 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 yeah this time three. <laughs> Why time Because less time, uh, less time need more workers. Now change to four. Times two? You say divide two, you say times two. Actually, yes. Yeah. yeah, now you have more time, so less worker, so 75. Uh, but they ask how many more? So 75 minus 50 equals to 25. Now, uh, uh, there's another method which is to use the direct inverse proportion. So in this case, it's inverse proportion. I find that you don't have to do that. Too troublesome. Okay, just, just do this way. It's way now. All right, so it's very fine. That's it. Next one. Uh, have you learned elements? I think you haven't, right? This, this, this stuff. Venn diagram, have you learned? Mean, medium mode. Mean, you know what's the meaning of mean? Mean, no, 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 you didn't know. Actually, do you know what's the meaning of mean? Average, is it? Average, average, it means average. Uh, do we want to do this? It's, it's under the chapter of best. Uh, oh. oh, yeah, skip, skip. 
we focus, okay? Okay, this is confirm tested. One solution of the equation is x equal negative two. Find the value of b. How to do it? Substitute x inside, okay? X, just, just put the x inside, which is negative two. Put negative two. <coughs> 